Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the sixth video in in this uh, Django tutorial series. So uh, today it's going to be a quick video again. We're going to get started with uh, Git. So if you remember in the first videos we installed Git on Windows and uh, if you're using a Linux machine like me, then uh, you sh Git should come installed with uh, your computer. Okay, so uh, pretty quick, Git is a version control system. It is an indispensable tool in software engineering because it allows you to save uh, your project into uh, different stages. So, for example, you can make like a snapshot of the project at the moment that you are and you can return, uh, Git allows you to return to that moment whenever you like. So maybe you you, uh, you, say you do some incremental changes to your project and then you want to return to uh, a previous stage. That's pretty easy with Git and uh, you keep track of everything you've already done in the development process. Okay, so uh, let's get started really quick. So first I'm going to my terminal. I'm checking my Git version. Okay, I already have it at 2.20.1. Whatever version you have, uh, it should work fine. Okay, so uh, now let's go to the folder we have the project. I'm going to desktop. Okay, here I have everything. Um, now, first thing I'm going to do is create uh, a Git repository. So in the Git repository, we will uh, save, as I said, all the snapshots of the project. So to start the repository, just type in git init. Okay, so we already now have a, a git repository initialized. We can uh, give, we can check with ls-la, which allows us uh, to see all the files and folders, even the hidden ones. So as you can see now, we have also this .git uh, folder. Let's, uh, before we go on with making our first commit and push, uh, it's always uh, the best practice to also create a git ignore file because there are some files you don't want to track changes for in your project. I will uh, give you an example really fast. So, but first let's create that file. That's uh, really simple to create in Linux. Just type in touch dot git ignore. Okay, make sure to type it like this with a dot in the front, which means it is a hidden file. Okay, now let's open the project with Visual Studio Code. Uh, if you're on Windows, you can also create the new uh, using the new file here. So just type, uh, not inside blog, sorry. Make sure to be uh, in the root folder of the project and here. Um, wait. Okay, so new file here, and you can create .git ignore. But I already have it, so I won't do it. So this is the git ignore file. Here we list all the files, uh, all the files or folders or types of files we don't want to track changes for. Usually there are some good uh, best practices for Python projects, and you can get the list. Uh, from the website of the uh, Django Girls tutorial, which I'm putting in the description. Make sure to copy this list like I am doing right now. Okay, and let's go to uh, VS Code. Okay, so what this is doing is it's not tracking the compiled Python files, which we don't need to, to track for. That's just uh, those files are created by our system to speed up uh, the project running. Uh, we don't need the VS Code files, we don't need the PyCache, we don't need our virtual environment, we don't need to save it because uh, whenever we want to deploy this project into a server, then we will create another virtual environment there, so we don't want to have a conflict with this existing VMV in our local machine. Um, we also uh, don't need the database, we don't need the... St well, for at the moment I'm just going to leave the database and the static so it is easier um, to work with it if we want to deploy into a server. And I'm just going to remove this one as well. Well, for me, um, 
this should be the best git ignore at the moment so you can uh, follow along and just leave these as I did right here okay so now that we have our git ignore we can um, go along and uh, go and create so let's type in the command git status as you can see now um, here we have all the files and folders which are not yet tracked so to track the files we just type in the command git add we can add them one by one or we can do this git add all and now they are all tracked if we type in git status again you can see that all are uh, green now which means that they are tracked and to create uh, like a, a snapshot of the project at this current stage we can just do a commit to do a commit it's, it's pretty easy just um, just type in git commit but we have to configure as well um, the git username and uh, git password and etc etc but for that you have to make sure that you create an account on your git on github.com just go to github.com and you should have uh, a sign up button i already have am signed up so and then you can create um a profile where you will have a username and an email so and you can check your username and email to do the configurations make sure to do all this before continuing because now we are going to uh, configure our username and our password into our machine so i'm just going to do git config uh, user.name Oh, I, I already have it okay but you have to type in uh, git config user dot name and the name of the username okay now git config user dot email and I'm just going to put my email which is associated with the github account okay so after you do these two commands but make sure to type in correctly your username and your email then we can uh, continue with the commit so git commit dash m and here we give like a message to um to and you you have to be really uh there, there are best practices for git commits as well but uh, i always like to keep it short and descriptive so i'm just uh making this commit like um started the blog project because this is the first commit and that but uh, I'm just okay after you hit enter then you have your first commit now we have to uh, so if you if you check with the git log you'll see that uh, you have the list of the all the commits so far so this is the only one we have and as I said this serves as a snapshot of the project at the current stage but you also need to save this repository into a service like uh, github.com to do that we just go to github and we'll create a new repository just uh, go to your profile and just type in or just github.com and create a new repository I'm just going to call this Django girls I'm then going to keep this um, oh okay I already have this from a previous project so I'm just going to call this uh, Django girls with an underscore you can uh, call it whatever you like but just make sure to be consistent okay I'm just leaving this private and create repository and in here you have the, con uh, the uh, instructions on how to link this remote repository on GitHub with the local one you have on your machine. We, all, we have already done the git init, we won't add the readme at the moment, we have done our first commit, but we need to um, connect the remote, uh, we need to add the remote origin to our local project. So just copy this command, make sure to copy it from your repository on GitHub. okay 
and then also now you can do a git push so every uh, the repository will be pushed to github.com and you will have everything here so we can do this command git push oh sorry here git push dash u origin master okay i'm just going to give the path the username okay and the password Um, if you see this, then uh, you, the changes have been pushed to the remote uh, repository, so everything now is on github.com. And you will have to repeat this process every time uh, you make some changes to your project and you want to make a new commit, then just follow the steps uh, from the start. Now, if we go on github.com and refresh, you'll see that uh, you'll have the project right here. Okay, everything we need to save, we already have it here. Okay, guys, this was um, a really short episode just for you to get started with Git. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Uh, make sure to continue watching uh, the next videos because we're going to uh, we're going to build like a real real world project. Okay, um, thank you for watching again, and make sure to also check out my Twitter and my Instagram, and I'm also starting a new tutorial series for beginners. It's uh, solving uh, exercises from the Python for Everybody, for Everybody book. You have everything on my channel. That's, called, that's another playlist called Python for Everybody. Okay, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.